Hello and welcome to the 39th video in this series of videos programming a chess engine in C. So in this video we're going to introduce the functions inside our makemove.c to add a piece to the board, clear a piece for, to, on the, from the board, sorry, and move a piece from one square to another on the board. And I'll do this over the course of two videos just to split everything up because I've just tried to do it in one and it took about 20 minutes. So let's start with the clearing a piece from the board and ignore this line at the top of this prepared code here, it doesn't matter now. And clear piece of the board is going to look like this. I should have a C O N S T, a constant here for the square. And basically, we're saying we want to clear the piece that is on square Q. So, a couple of things we need to do, and I'll copy and paste this code in here and talk through it is first of all assert that the square is actually on the board otherwise we're in for a whole lot of trouble and then get the piece that's on that square on the board and we'll assert also that this piece is actually a piece because again it's always worth double checking that everything is making uh, sense and all as it should be because we'll be using these values obviously to index arrays later on and I've already made some mistakes with array indexing that I've had to fix so I don't want to make too many more so we've got the colour of the piece here, we've got this for looping, and t piece num will be used in the piece list, it's set at the moment deliberately to minus one, and you'll see later how that's used. And now we have the first sort of action in the function, which is to actually XOR, exclusive OR, our piece on that square, so effectively hashing it out of the position key. The next bit's quite simple, it's the bit you would expect in a clearing piece, we set at the square, SQ, we set that square to empty on the pieces array, and we also subtract the value of the piece being removed from our material score for the cut particular colour. And now we have to see whether the piece is a pawn or not. So we say, is it a big piece? If it is, then adjust our big piece major and minor piece counters accordingly. That should be fairly straightforward. And also here, we need to clear the bits both from the bit board for the pawns of the colour of this piece, but also for both colours, remembering to use the square 64 macro. So that's how that looks so far. And now we come to probably the tricky bit to understand, and it is how to remove the piece from the piece list. So I'm just going to put a little comment section here and talk through this to make sure that the piece lists are ingrained and if they're not if they already are then I'm very sorry for laboring the point but it's important to know let's say we're dealing with white pawns and let's say we have five white pawns so this value here at the moment would give us five four white pawn so we would be looping here from zero to four and now all we do is we loop through the in the all of the pieces from 0 to 4. So that means that we would be looping like so with 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And each of these here would be giving us a value of a square. So the square that that piece at that index is actually sitting on. And one of these squares should equal the square of that was sent in as an argument because we got the piece from the pieces array that's on this square. So what we have to do, what we're doing here, is we're looping through the piece index until we find the square that's equal to square. So let's say it's square 3. So what we find in the end is that square equals square 3, so t piece num will be set to 3 because it's at index 3. Okay? So now when we go on to the next part, the first thing we do is we assert t piece num isn't minus 1 because if we found this piece from our pieces array on square, then going through the piece list should retrieve that square for that piece type, otherwise the piece list and the pieces array don't match up. This is already checked in the checkboard function, but even so, there's another check in here with this assert here. And the first thing we do is decrement 
this piece here, the piece number. So that effectively makes this now a 4. And then what we say is, we say here, so I'll just go back a little bit, we're effectively saying here, position and piece list for white pawns at t piece num, which is index 3, is now being set equal to the position piece list at what this is, the piece number, which we know is now 4 because it's been reduced at index 4. Or in other words, it's being set equal to square 4, which is at index 4. So now the way our piece list looks, if I just copy and paste this underneath, is that this is now a value of 4, which means we'll loop from 0 to 3. We know now that the position at 3 has been set to the value of square 4, and that because we're looping only to th index of 3, we don't see the one that's on the bottom there. So now our new piece list looks like this, and if you compare this with the one up here, you'll see now that effectively this line here with a square 3 value has been removed, and it's no longer there, and we go straight to square 4. So that's how we go about removing a piece from the piece list. And that's all we need to do inside this clear piece function. So for now I'm going to leave this commented code in place and I'll remove it later on in the program sometime. But it's worth, I think, really ingraining exactly how the piece list and indexing are working because otherwise it's going to become very confusing. So that's it for this video. The next video will implement together the add piece and move piece because they're very similar but I wanted in this video just to make sure that the piece list concept was understood. So any questions on it, please post a comment. Otherwise, anything else, comments, questions, criticisms, welcome, as always, on YouTube. See you in the next video.